Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. I'm about to get out of Walmart right now. I just finished playing, uh, finished shopping and then playing my uh, famous game of Walmart Tetris, which is trying to fit everything into these bags. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not doing a Monday motivation, even though uh, today, even though that's usually what I start off with when I'm filming from this angle from here. Um, actually, we're just going to be doing uh, just a typical afternoon in Jose's life. And we're just going to be talking, walking and talking, literally, and uh, enjoying the sights a little bit. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get the hell out of here before it starts raining. Man, these bags are so heavy. I overfilled them so much. I got to figure out a better solution. But anyways, in the meantime, let's get the hell out of here. All right, so first thing that happened was as I was leaving, this thing just broke. But it didn't break, it's always falling apart. So this is my tripod. See, this is what I, you know, I put the camera on here and uh, that's what I talked to. So there we go. All right, so there we go. We already had a problem, price is averted. We fixed it, now let's get the hell out of here. All right, so, well, this is Walmart. You guys already know Walmart, right? Uh, let me make sure I got everything. I forgot. I started talking to you guys before I... Okay, I got my... got everything. All right, we're good to go. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Now, you guys already know. Um, I do a lot of these walks and talks leaving Walmart. 99.99% um, .99 of the time, it's usually just... Uh, uh, Monday motivation, but today um, I already did the Monday motivation, so we're doing it backwards. We're just doing a regular episode today, and in fact, we're just doing a regular Monday, not regular Monday. We're doing a regular Mexico type video. See, look, people are leaving work. It's early in the afternoon. I think it's like five in the afternoon. So there was just a, a shift change here at uh, at Walmart, and um, you know, there's all kinds of people leaving and entering and all that stuff. You guys already know. Same thing as back home. At a certain time, you know, we start hitting rush hour traffic, people start leaving work, all that good stuff and, and beyond. Now, it, it's the middle of summer, it's still July, so people, all the kids are still like in school and all that good stuff. So, you know, it's a lot less traffic than, than usual. Right now, this, this, this shit should be packed, you know, full of uh, um, um, gridlock traffic. You know, usually all this is gridlock traffic all the way through here. You guys have seen it many times before, but again, I, I because the kids are out of school for the summer, it, it usually, um, you know, um, all right, let's do this. It usually helps with the traffic and all that. And uh, it's not just here, it's back home where you guys are from and all that good stuff. So it's the same old, same old. So let's enjoy some of the sights there. Now, what was I doing at Walmart? Well, whoa. Well, one of the things I was doing at Walmart today, well, besides uh, obviously getting some groceries and shit, was uh, getting paid. So, a lot of you guys already know that um, the only bank I have is really just a cash app. And um, a lot of ways, you know, people pay me through the cash app or they pay me with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But another way in which people pay me out here is uh, literally um, through um, MoneyGram, Western Union, all that good stuff. So, I use that. Uh, let me see. We're going to... Is it turning light yet? No, not yet. All right. And so, yeah, I want to get on the other side. There's a lot. It's too hot over here. Let's see if I can cross. Is this turning? Is it... All right. We're getting there. This person stopped early with the green light. So, all right. Let's get, the, let's get over to the other side. Break on through, through the other side. So, anyways, that's uh, another way in which... You know, someone living abroad without a bank account can get money the obvious way, which is uh, through uh, one of these money services, you know, whether it's MoneyGram, Western Union, what have you. And I'm not the only one. There's all kinds of people from all kinds of countries um, doing the same thing, which is, uh, you know, getting uh, money from abroad, you know, meaning uh, from work like, um, like I am or from family or what have you. And, um, you know, for those of you guys living in the States, you guys probably send it to people abroad and so on and so forth so um on this end um i receive it <laughs> and vice versa you know obviously you know but i use that money money uh sending service in more ways than one a lot of times uh 
I have difficulty with the banking system. So what I got to do is that I have to send money to myself. So I send money from my own account to myself and then I come and pick it up here. Um, a, a lot of things, a lot of times what I do is I, I just use my girlfriend and her banking. She has, and she has a bank, you know, um, I'm able to just, uh, use her, um, for the purposes of, uh, intermediary, uh, banking, meaning, um, I send stuff to her and all that good stuff. And then, um, she takes it out of the bank for me. So, you know, like I'll send her Bitcoin or I'll send her, you know, whatever to her bank account. And then she just gets it for me. And that's it. So there's always like a million ways around. You know, that's all. It's just that at the end of the day, what we're all trying to do here is uh, try to find the easiest, fastest, cheapest solution. And these guys right here, which is the bank, isn't necessarily the best. They're just not. So, and why are they not the best? We already know. I mean, for real, if you guys want more information on that bull crap, then here look let me so you can see one of the guys out here but yeah i mean you know you guys know um i talk about the banking system and banks and all that shit on a regular basis all the freaking time and so you know if you want more info, info on that just uh, check out all my other videos but you know you know a lot of times when i end up uh you know I, at first when i first got out here more than anything else um it was a bit of a hassle it was a bit of a situation um when I, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get money because I didn't have my debit card or my bank wasn't uh, helping me out or what have you. And, uh, you know, as, as I've been out here, I've actually realized that, you know, um, I don't need a fucking bank. Um, I am my own bank. And, um, you know, Bitcoin has uh, continuously uh, proven itself over and over again. As you guys already know, for, for those of you guys out there that know me, you know, before I started doing these YouTube videos, and um, for those of you guys that know me from the very beginning of my journey, way back in LA, back in 2017, talking about the other stuff, um, you know, Bitcoin has saved my life more than once and has been instrumental in uh, my survival in many, 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 many cases, you know, literally all the way through and uh, no exception when I came out here. You know, even though there's no um, Bitcoin ATMs, even though there's no real infrastructure out here, even though there's not a lot of things out here, um, in order to facilitate that, it was still, you know, easy for me to get what I needed and still is and so on and so forth. It's really not that big of a fucking deal. In fact, um, the more research I did into all that, um, the more I realized that, um, you know, you know, you only need a minimal infrastructure as opposed to like the banking system, which needs a monstrosity of an infrastructure. You know, basically the infrastructure for, for Bitcoin and crypto is uh, mainstream adoption. It's just the people creating the network. As more people use it and more people um, create this network, then it's, uh, you know, more readily available to everybody else and easier to use and all that good stuff. So, you know, that's why for all you guys out there that think, you know, oh my God, did I miss the boat or whatever? No one, no one missed the boat, man. We're still so early in on this that it's not even funny and we just are oh man extra hot and sweaty hold on one second pop here so i can clean myself off the typical typical little horsey horse and buggy got another one I know you animal lovers out there hate this. You're not, a, you're not big fans. If, uh, if you're animal lovers, you're not big fans of these horses. And, uh, you know, after it was uh, calmly explained to me, because I'm a dumbass, you know, like as to how much these poor animals suffer out here, you know, doing that shit, I realized, yeah, that's kind of sucky. And, um, you know, now that I've, I've explored the city and seen the city somewhat, you know, somewhat more, um, I'll see. Hey, hey, how's hey. it going? Hey! <laughs> I've seen, uh, I've, I've actually seen, you know, like, um, I, I've been to places, other neighborhoods where I've, I've, I've seen people, pe people's houses where they keep these horses. So, for example, like once that guy's done with work, you know, once he's done with his 12 hour shift, um, he has to go home and he'll go to a home like the one I have and he just parks his horse there like um, you would park your car and that's kind of it. And um, yeah, there's not much love much anything associated to 
to these poor animals and shit so and it's not not that bueno and um you know at the end of the day it's not really i don't fault the actual watch this dímelo, dímelo. all right Coño, que bueno. yeah. awesome <laughs> People love the camera, man. They love that camera. Look at that. That's awesome, man. That was great. Man, it's so hot. I'm sweating like balls here. But I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, like it's not like I I fault, you know, the owners of these horses or anything like that. They're just trying to survive. They're just trying to make it. They're just trying to whatever. And we don't have to go back down that far to know that, um, you know, it's not like these animals were ever really treated that well anyway. But, but nowadays... Nowadays, I'm, I, I totally get it. Like when uh, when people tell me about the fact that we don't need that at all—that it's really just like a touristy type thing and and all that shit—and and it fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Like I, I get what the guy's doing, but hey, he could also be fucking doing an Uber or whatever. And um, you know, he could definitely train in that horse for a car type of shit. And um, and I get it. I get. I mean, I get the whole business model and the whole everything. But and I also get you know the the, the thinking of the people that that own those horses and, and do all that shit. But anyways, I guess um, after seeing firsthand how the whole thing works, I, I realized myself that it's not necessarily uh, the greatest fucking uh, idea, the greatest thing, the greatest whatever. But hey, it is what it is, right? What are we gonna do? So, you know. So yeah, like, um, so I was, as I was saying, um, I haven't ridden one of those things before. These are the horses, the steel horses. That steel horse, on a steel horse, I ride. And it sounds so gay, but, um, but yeah, like, um, you know, those are the horses I ride on, the steel horses, you know, not the, not the, not the real horses. Uh, I got, I got Lambo at home. And see, look, Lambo, you know, now speaking of Lambo, you know, he's uh, a recovery horse. What is it? Uh, I got him. For, <laughs> he's a horse that uh, that they used to. Um, come from an abused home, so you know now he's in an even more abused home. But um, pum. No, but actually uh, he's not. You already know I adopted him and uh, taking care of him and all that stuff. And look at that lady just uh, selling stuff. This just opened up, brand new. Oh, <laughs> that place just opened up, brand new. I haven't been through here like in three weeks, as I was telling you guys in the video that I recorded earlier for next week. Never mind. But yeah. So, yeah, we're just walking and talking down uh, Paseo Montejo, enjoying the weather. Thank God it's not raining. I thought it was going to be raining because when I was inside the Walmart, it was uh, starting to rain a little bit. Or I thought it was raining, but it was just a few drops here and there. And thank God because I didn't want to be calling no taxi or anything to, you know, to get home. I hate that shit. It's like a waste of money. And, uh, and I wanted to record a video, man. Fuck, you know, a little day in the life. So... Yeah, I mean, what are we doing? Oh yeah, so once I get home, I'm just gonna unload the groceries. I'm gonna see what time it is. You know, I gotta check my emails, check my messages, and see what I gotta do. And depending on my workload, once I get back home, it's gonna depend on what exactly I'm gonna do when I get there. Man, it's fucking hot. Sweating like, sweating balls. So, uh yeah yeah so like um so like now when i get home i'm gonna i'm gonna just de de depending on the workload of all the things i gotta do i know i already have a lot of things i gotta do when i get home but that's gonna determine whether i'm gonna be cooking something today or ordering tacos or whatever you know and uh the main reason i cook for myself i mean first of all it started with economics but you know after a while you start getting the hang of things out here and the prices and and all that good stuff and I can literally I mean literally for what I eat you know what I have a good meal for you know cooking for myself it's basically what it costs me for me to eat out and most of the time they bring it to my house so you know and uh, the average price of food is like around five bucks six bucks seven bucks like between five to ten bucks it all depends on how much you eat um, but it's around five bucks at the cheapest ten bucks at the most expensive and me personally, I only eat one meal a day. And since I only eat one meal a day, again, I, I only spend around five to 10 bucks a day. And by the way, this is not for everybody. I know I've had this discussion many times before and people are like, oh, what do you mean you eat one meal a day? That's crazy, that's whatever. And again, that's just me. Look, the tourist, touristy bus. 
But again, that's just me. All right, my own personal um, diet. Okay, because um, it's pretty much the same old uh, diet I've had my whole life. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I used to be a chef. I used to work, you know, a gazillion hours a day, and um, that was just always part of my uh, my routine. I just really didn't eat or rest or anything until the end of the night, the end of the day. So, you know, me going a full 12 hours of uh, hardcore workload and not eating a damn thing, very normal for me, but not for everybody. That's why um, I've been able to... Oh, look at this. Windows are open. Huh? Abandoned little building here. Mm. So, that's why I have been, uh, been able to you know very easily adopt something like the paleo diet or the the keto diet or whatever the hell because that's basically already my my diet my everyday whatever you know like that's how i always uh kind of functioned and i know for a lot of people it's not that easy and um that's one of the things that like um i talk about out here in the sense of in the sense of uh you know when it comes to to um the diet i mean not the diet but when it comes to you know food cost so see my food costs are completely different than some some of you guys out there some of you guys out there you know are probably going to be spending um around 10 to 15 bucks a day maybe more i don't really know it all really just depends on how much you eat and what you eat i mean it's as simple as that i myself um I already told you what I spend and how much I eat and all that. So, you know, with that being said, it's only, uh, it's very minimal cost for me, you know, and especially out here, it's very, very minimal. But if you're the kind of person out there that needs your three meals a day and, uh, you know, special uh, organic groceries, you know, that not the organic stuff that you get from the market out here, but, you know, some fucking shit important from fucking God knows where, then yeah, it's probably gonna cost you a little more. It's probably gonna cost you more. Like, um, I can get a can of beans of like, you know, hardcore, you know, beans with meat and all kinds of shit in a can out here for around 75 cents, a dollar, give or take, all right? And um, if you want to get a can of Hormel chili, which you already know it's fucking death, it's going to cost you like $2.50. So, and, and that just goes with everything around the clock, you know, with everything else, you know, if you want to get certain things, you know, they're just going to cost you an arm and a leg. And, uh, you know, to me, it's not really worth it. In fact, again, um, I'm glad that I have a Cuban heritage and I can get all my, you know, basic Cuban ingredients and things from Miami and things from Latin America out here, you know, just everywhere without having to import anything. But if that is what you like, um, again, you know, like right, like this is like a block from my house. You know, this is place right here. This, this is a cafe, cram, bar. I've never been here before, but this place right here, is super super duper fucking up French you know meaning that you know they got croissants they got wine they got pretty much everything you want you know so if you're French or you want French stuff you go there and uh, you know just like that there's tons of places like that around here um, which are great and I love myself again you know just a few blocks north of where I live there's a place that has a Vietnamese pho um, there's, I found a few places here that already have like good pizza and hamburgers again nothing like the states you know um, and all that good stuff but you know there's, there's stuff out here man there's stuff that comes straight from Spain you know there's all kinds of really awesome goodies out here so yeah whatever it's great it's wonderful now look you see this bag right here this bag I've had it with me for fuck I don't know long ass time already I bought it for one dollar here at this place right here That's where I bought my bag, uh, God, I don't even know how long ago. And again, $1. And this thing is uh, as sturdy as, uh, the, you know, super hardcore, lifts a lot. Um, it's just really good bag. It, has, it hasn't had any problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna see if you guys are paying attention. But seriously, great made stuff for cheap. Look at that, that's the gas guy. So if you guys ever, you know, everyone out here has gas for their kitchens and for other things, but basically their kitchens. And, uh, you know, this guy comes around and, uh, you know, fills up your gas. It's as simple as that. You know, you run out of gas, you call the guy, he shows up the next day and fills up your tank. That's what she said. But, <laughs> you know, that's it. I mean, you know, we're almost home. 
hopefully uh, you know what let me end this before the fucking uh, thing just dies of heat so all right guys you know i'm pretty much home already just like another block to go so you know the producer's telling me i got 30 more seconds about a minute you know to end this so my last final thoughts are you know thank you so much you know to all my patrons thank you to all my contributors thank you to everyone out there all you you know new subscribers old subscribers all my uh you know everyone leaving comments everyone that's always interacting you know in the discord in the new um and, and you know everyone that's uh, going to joseatiaga.com and enjoying what i have there um I just launched some expat services, you know, so for all you guys out there that love my Mexico content and is always asking me questions, well, guess what? Now you can hire me to help you out with other stuff. I'm still going to be around uh, answering all kinds of cool shit, and I'm always going to be, you know, just a text away for everyone out there that knows how to get into get to me. Um, and then on top of that, you know, I'm offering even more services for, for those out there that, that want them, you know. Whether you want to go bar hopping together, whether you need someone to translate something, whether you need the, you know, personalized uh, service to help you find a home, whatever. Sorry, my eyes are full of sweat. Oof. So, but yeah, I got all that going and then some, and I'm launching the store soon and all that good stuff. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this because I'm already home. I can barely see. I'm sweaty, I'm tired, and uh, it's about to rain. So guys, as always, you already know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, and uh, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome, all right? And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys mañana. Peace out. By the way, that's a Yucatan flag right there. Look, you see? That's the Yucatan flag. Look at that. Wave freely, brother. Wave freely.